Hello, this is John Brewer. I'm here to talk about my Leviathans campaign that ran this past weekend. What worked, what didn't, techniques discovered, and lessons learned. First, the tech build. For this run, I got a few specific things. First, I printed up a nice Leviathan sign and put it in a stand. Very staples professional. I printed up labels for each of the ship miniatures so we would know which miniature was which. I wrote a quick piece of presentation software to help keep track of what individual ship status was. I was able to get the map printed out on 36 by 24 paper, making hexes 6 inches and looking awesome. I was able to get- Finally, my fiancé and I made these great little flags to serve as markers on the strategic map. So, having proved all my equipment worked the way I thought it would, I went to Gaming Weekend and discovered my projector wouldn't work with their built-in screen. So I used this projector. The status screen ended up dominating the room to an almost embarrassing degree. Look at this compared to the table I had to play on. So I set up the game in starting position and waited for 10 hundred when I could start. The very beginning of the campaign started with the French taking out the Trafford, and then starting a fight with a group led by the New Zealand. It is very difficult, it turns out, to maintain formation when you have French cruisers all up in your grill, so the French ended up taking something of an early lead. After the second match, it became clear that we weren't going to be able to run this on one board, so I broke out a second board so we could run battles simultaneously. Did I mention I didn't have a co-GM for this? Yeah, I've always had a co-GM in the past, but this time I thought, bah, I don't need a co-GM, I've played this a lot, I'll just look at the board, I'll make a quick evaluation, it'll be fine. No. Learn from my mistake. So I kept ending up in situations like this. And this. And this. To the point that I was happy when I ended up like this. So about five hours into the game, the status screen started to look like this. One thing you might notice is a clock running down next to particular ships. Ships on the strategic map in this game have a real-time cooldown. The goal of this system was to give players the opportunity to get up from the table, walk around a little, maybe play a few other short games before returning to Leviathans. The formula was pretty simple. 240 minutes divided by the ship's MP. Now if you're tiny and fast like Peltier, with 12 movement points, you get a move every 20 minutes. If you're a great lumbering beast like Paris, however, you move about every hour. Once a ship is ready to be activated, it has three options. First, it can move to an adjacent hex. Second, it can repair all damage it has at a fleet base. And third, it can transfer its captain to another ship in the same hex, assuming the captain has the XP to take command of that ship. The XP system is pretty simple. You start at zero and you can command a destroyer. At one XP, you can command a cruiser. At three XP, you can command a battleship. You get one XP every time you survive a battle by winning or retreating. If you lose your ship, and your side retreats or is destroyed in detail, your XP returns to zero. Towards the end of the game, we end up in a situation where ships in the middle of a repair activation were attacked, and I ruled that being attacked canceled the repair. That made sense, but it means ships with very low cooldowns can pin ships with higher cooldowns by engaging and retreating. That's a problem that needs to be solved. Towards the end of the game, the French battleships made their first appearance to sink the wounded Medusa, and spent six turns attempting to sink the valiant HML Raven as she dashed around like a maniac. At the end of the day, it was an overwhelming French victory. I'm not sure it was the most gripping Leviathan's campaign ever played, but I'm pretty sure my players liked it. So that's the story of how I played eight games of Leviathan's in 12 hours without winning a single one of them decisively. The takeaways from this campaign were 1. The real-time clock is neat, but doesn't work very well in practice. Two, the name tags for the ships are neat and do work very well in practice. And three, GM should use the buddy system. It is dangerous to go alone. I hope you enjoyed watching. My name is John Brewer. Come and learn from my mistakes.